A Stuart Whitman, the legendary actor who was most famous for his work during the 1960s, the 1970s and the 1980s has passed away. The news agency claims that the 92 years old actor died in California home in Montego this Monday. A friend who spoke with the publication claimed that the actor had been intermittently checked into hospitals, but especially over the last few months due to skin cancer that eventually traveled into his bloodstream. Friends and family surrounded Mr. Whitson as he passed away. Fans of the iconic actor know that he is starred in many different films and dramas, including westerns with the equally icon John Wayne. They worked together in the 1961 movie The Comanche Rose. The last time Whitman worked in a film was 20 years ago in The President's Man, starring Chuck Norris. According to TMZ, Whitman had around 150 credits to his name over his long and illustrious career as an actor. Whitman Whitman had been married three times until his third wife, who he had been married to since 1993. In addition to his career as an actor, which later earned him an Oscar not for the mark, Stewart served in the United States military during the Second World War and was a boxer as well. His experience in the military and also as a boxer helped him foster an image as a tough guy toned actor. Mr. Whitman had one child with his second wife and four kids with his first wife. This is isn't the only loss in the entertainment community over the last few weeks. One of the 15th February told Mam confirmed that Reba McIntyre went on her social media to update her fans on her mother's health conditions. McIntyre revealed that her mother died at 94 years old and UPI was the first to pick up on the country's music star's post. Due to the spread of coronavirus, it's worth mentioning that neither Reba's mother nor Stuart Whitman died from complications from a COVID-19 infection.